Hello, hello, hello. Zach from Composition Critiques here, and welcome to Across the Musical Globe, where we take a look at songs made in foreign countries, regardless of the language barrier. Today we get to travel to Ukraine, where we analyze the Kalush Orchestra song, Stefania. Let's explore. Released as a standalone single on February 7th, 2022, this song peaked at number two on the U.S. World Digital Song Sales chart associated with Billboard, and at number one on both the Ukraine Airplay chart affiliated with Top Hit and Lithuania's Agata chart. It was also certified gold in Poland for selling at least 25,000 copies. Plus, it won last year's Eurovision Song Contest. I can understand why, because this is a solid jam with an admirable message. First, we have the stellar production and instrumentation, as its tune blends modern hip-hop with traditional Ukrainian folk music, which established its own identity. The boom-bap percussion, combined with the underlying notes of Ihor Dedinchuk's upright bass, gives the song a solid groove, while Vitaly Dorsek's Sopilka in the verses and Time Mafi Music Chok's Talenka in the post courses created a patriotic atmosphere. Also, the hand claps near the end of the song encourages the audience to join in and celebrate the titular character as the main hero based on her actions as a devoted mother, which is something I'll discuss later on. Next, we have the vocal deliveries from three members of the group as they contribute to the storytelling in their own special way. MC Ole Sayok sounds really invested in telling the audience the tale of the titular character without missing a beat in the verses. Also, there's Hype Man Sasha Top as his commandingly deep voice highlighted how the relationship between the narrator and Stefania is never damaged by repeating what Ole said. Then there's Time Mafia in the chorus, as his tremor-like singing emphasized how the narrator is scared of the downside of life, as Stefania is known to be the main source of comfort. Finally, we have the heartfelt lyrics, as they are an ode to Ole's own mother, who is also named Stefania. In the first verse, he reflected on how she protected him as a young child while claiming that she's wiser than King Solomon. While in the second verse, he admitted that she still treats him like a child in his adult years while being grateful for the love and support she had given him. Plus, the choruses showcased how old she really is, yet she has the spirit of a young mother. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. Please make sure to like and share this video, leave a comment, follow me on this platform, and pray for everyone in Ukraine. Thank you.